Hi, welcome to Party Food Hero. I'm Aaron. Today we're going to be making bacon jam. It's as good as it sounds. Bacon jam. It's delicious. Let's check it out. For this recipe, you're going to need thyme, chipotle powder, balsamic vinegar, onions, brown sugar, bacon, sherry vinegar, butter, salt and pepper, olive oil. Now you're going to cut the bacon into pieces. This will help the bacon cook faster. I went with a thick cut bacon this time, and I won't do that again. It just took a long time to cook it. So just go with your standard sized thickness for bacon and just cut it all up until it looks like that delicious cut up bacon now you're going to add your bacon to your favorite bacon cooking pot and this part is going to take a little bit of time to cook it all down but good news you can do something else while the bacon is getting nice and crispy i'll show you let's check it out you get to dice your onions now don't worry about cutting these too small because these are going to get cooked down quite a bit and I'm going to show you at the end I'm going to do a process where I use a hand blender or immersion blender whatever you want to call it to mix this up a little bit more so don't get too nitpicky on how you are how small you're cutting these and please my knife skills are horrible please don't copy this unless you think I'm doing a good job then still don't copy it because I'm not just kind of like that and like I'm doing nice and precisely make sure your knife's sharp not too sharp because if you cut yourself you don't want to cut off your finger that would be that would be the end of making your bacon jam for the day so please don't cut your finger off that is the perfect size and then you're gonna do that three more times when you first start cooking this bacon, it's gonna look gross. It's gonna look like that. And you're going to wonder if Aaron came up with a not good recipe this time. Don't give up, keep cooking it. It's gonna be amazing, I promise you. Just watch. See, look at that. Now that you see that white foam on top, that's when you know you're getting very close to being done. Uh, you just mix around, make sure it looks like all the bacon has been cooked, but that's a Perfect sign to know when you are about to take this bacon off of the heat and strain it out, which I will show you now. Very carefully strain the grease from the bacon, and you're going to keep a little bit of that bacon grease to cook the onions. See, look, I'm giving you a nice shot of the inside of the bacon cooking pot which is also my onion cooking pot. So you're gonna add some butter, then you're gonna add your water, then you're gonna add in all your wonderful onions. Make sure you have a big enough pot to add all your onions in. Your onion cooking pot should be big enough to handle this many onions. Now you're gonna add your salt, and then you're going to add your freshly ground pepper. Make sure it's freshly ground. Make sure you get a little bit on the stovetop for good measure. Now give it a good mixing to get all that salt, pepper, butter, and water distributed evenly. While you have your onions cooking on medium-low heat, you're going to chop up that cooled bacon Make sure it's completely cooled so it'll be crispy and easier to chop up. And you're going to chop that into smaller pieces. It doesn't have to be super fine, but you have plenty of time to do this while you're waiting for those onions to cook. So just cut them up until it looks like this. And yes, it's appropriate to try 3 to 12 pieces to make sure it tastes good. Once your onions look like this, translucent, soft, you're going to add in your chopped up bacon. Now, just depends on how long that's going to take. Sometimes it can take 10, 20 minutes. Just be patient. But once it gets to that, that color and softness in the onions is when you can add in your bacon. 
and it's going to take a little bit of time after you add this bacon and by a little bit I mean it's going to take a long time to cook this down to where it needs to be but the end product is worth the effort the effort the the nobody knows now that you've added in all of your bacon minus the 3 to 12 that you tested you are going to mix it in very well and the magic starts to happen now you're going to add in your brown sugar and mix that in very well now you're going to add in your chipotle pepper and then you're going to add in your thyme and just give it a little tap 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 a to get it out and then you're going to just mix that all in very well together now you're going to add in your sherry vinegar and mix that in as well make sure that you're stirring occasionally while it's cooking and then taste for seasoning so you're going to take your spoon only use it once no double dipping and because the size of your onions can differ sometimes you need to add a little extra salt in this case i did so i added just a little bit more stirred it in used a different spoon to taste test it again and it tasted delicious this is the color that we're looking for a nice light mahogany i decided to do something that i'd never done in the past and it is use a immersion blender to mix it up to get it a little more jammy it's not required but i'm gonna start doing this every time i make bacon jam because the texture was perfect and i think it just helped blend no pun intended the flavors together even better so this is an optional step but to get the best outcome of this recipe i would definitely get an immersion blender and do this it just turned out better than any other time that i've made the bacon jam and i've made this you know well you don't i've made it eight to 12 times now you know so you know eight to 12 times after i blended it all up i cooked it for another 10 15 minutes and then i turned the heat off and then you're going to add in your balsamic vinegar making sure you remove the cap first so you can actually put in the balsamic vinegar then you're going to mix that in really well remember the heat is turned off at this point and the final step before my favorite part of the video is adding in the olive oil mixing it in really well and then you're going to let this cool you're going to want to serve this at room temperature if you're serving this the next day you can refrigerate it reheat it it reheats very well and serve it with a baguette some crackers or with a spoon all right now for my favorite part of the video i get to eat the food you just take some of that uh, bacon jam put that on a nice toasted baguette i put a little asiago cheese on there delicious That is so good. It's amazing. Uh, it takes the, just leaves me speechless how good it is. You can add this bacon jam to anything. I mean, as simple as a baguette with a little bit of um, Asiago cheese on it, put it on top of that. That's amazing as an appetizer at any party, anything that you go to or when people come over to your house. But you add this to like a hamburger or a sandwich, it just completely takes everything to the next level. I'm telling you, you make this at like a company party, if those ever happen again, you're gonna get a raise. You've just secured your job at wherever you're at because no one wants to get rid of the guy who knows how to make bacon jam. Now, if you like what we're doing on this channel, please like, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell your friends about it, follow us on Party Food Hero on Instagram, partyfoodhero.com on the internet. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And remember, be the Party Food Hero.